Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I am Mohammed Youssef. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. His Majesty expressed good wishes to the Saudi King on the occasion of the fourth anniversary since his accession to the throne. He praised the bilateral deep-rooted relations and the cooperation in all fields. His Majesty wished the Saudi King abundant health and happiness and for Saudi Arabia further progress and prosperity. The Royal Court announced that His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa will leave tomorrow for Saudi Arabia. His Majesty will head the Kingdom's delegation to the 39th GCC summit which will be hosted tomorrow. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the fourth anniversary of his accession to the throne. His Royal Highness expressed pride in the Saudi King's leadership and pioneering role in his country's development, voicing pride in his achievements and reinforcing Arab unity, strengthening Islamic solidarity, consolidating cooperation among the GCC countries, and defending legitimate Islamic and Arab causes. He reiterated Bahrain's pride in its deep rooted relations with Saudi Arabia and its support to the kingdom, wishing Saudi Arabia for their progress and prosperity under the leadership of King Salman. His Royal Highness wished the Saudi King abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister Prince Mohammed bin Salman Al Khalifa, congratulating him on the fourth anniversary of the custodian of the two holy mosques accession to the throne. His Royal Highness hailed the historic achievements made in the era of the Saudi King and his wise leadership of the GCC Advancement March. He expressed pride in the deep-rooted relations between the two countries and the close integration in various fields. His Royal Highness wished the Saudi Crown Prince abundant health and the Saudi people further progress and prosperity. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa sent a cable of congratulations to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, on the fourth anniversary of his accession to the throne. He expressed pride in the brotherly relations between the two countries and the close integration in various fields. His Royal Highness wished the Saudi King abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness also sent a similar cable to the Saudi Crown Prince, First Deputy Prime Minister and Defence Minister Prince Mohammed bin Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud. Under the patronage of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, the closing ceremony of the Middle East Ironman 17.3 Bahrain took place in the presence of the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, President of Bahrain Olympic Committee. Upon his arrival, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince was received by His Highness Sheikh Nasser and President of Bahrain Equestrian and Endurance Federation and Vice President of the Supreme Council for Environment, His Highness Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, and a number of ministers and officials in the kingdom. His Royal Highness then crowned the winners in the men's and women's categories, among whom Samir al Baytar and Mohammed al Ghais, who won the women's and men's categories among the Bahraini participants. His Royal Highness hailed the Bahrain's continuous success in organizing major events, pointing out that the Bahraini's achievements and high spirit translate the care and interest of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al Khalifa to the youth and sports sector. He praised the efforts of His Highness Sheikh Nasser towards empowering the Bahraini youth. His Royal Highness valued His Highness Sheikh Nasser's initiatives, which have contributed to developing the triathlon sport in the Kingdom of Bahrain and have allowed the Bahraini athletes climbing podiums in major events. His Royal Highness then congratulated the winners of the Middle East 70.3 Ironman Bahrain.
the representative of His Majesty the King for Charity Work and Youth Affairs, President of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, and Chairman of Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, announced that Bahrain Championship has achieved the highest speed in the Ironman Championship made by the Norwegian participant Christian. His Highness affirmed that the success made by the Kingdom in hosting the championship proves its ability to host all world events at the highest organizational level in light of the support of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa and His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Highness stated that the large audience contributed to the championship's success which affirmed Bahrain's increasing keenness on the triathlon sports, noting that the championship has contributed tremendously to promoting the Kingdom. He hailed the efforts of the organizing committee expressing pleasure in his direct experience of the championship after previously participating in it. His Highness was at the forefront to receive the champions and the top three winners in the Ironman Championship for Men and Women, congratulating the winners and commending their performances. Over 3,000 triathletes representing more than 84 countries took part in the Middle East Ironman 70.3 Championship, which kicked off early this morning. Uh, it was really good, really, really fast. Um, it's lovely coming over to Bahrain, somewhere different. I've tended to only race in Europe, so um, it's been nice. I've got um, friends, family over here, so I've been staying with them. Um, yeah, it was tough on the run, got hotter. Um, had a little bit of an injury, so I was just pushing hard on the swim and the bike and didn't really know what was going to happen on the run, but it held up and went under 4 hours 30 for the first time, so super happy. I mean, this one's super fast. I did Mallorca earlier in the year. Um, that's obviously quite hilly with some technical descending. This, just rapid on the bike. Um, by far the fastest I've ever gone on the bike. I think that's probably a faster average speed than I've ever even done in a sprint triathlon. So, um, and going on the F1 track, that's a pretty cool experience. So, um, yeah, all in all, epic experience. I just love being here. The fourth edition of Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship was filled with major accomplishments by female athletes, with an increase of women participation by 50%. The weekend celebration of triathlon and Middle Eastern culture consisted of three competitions, swimming 1.9 kilometers, cycling 90 kilometers, and running 21.1 kilometers. It was my first time in the Middle East and it was a great opportunity to see a very different uh, countryside than what I'm used to. And I have to say, having to bike on the circuit, it was amazing. 
Hosting the Ironman 70.3 Middle East Championship reflects the high capability of the kingdom to host international and well-organized events, placing Bahrain on the map of global sports. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Yasmin Ibrahim. The President of the Bahrain Royal Equestrian Federation and Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Environment, Sheikh Faisal bin Rashid Al Khalifa, witnessed today the first day of the 9th National Day Contest of Arabian Horse Beauty in the presence of the Minister of Youth and Sports, Ayman Al Ma'ayyir, members of the Representatives Council, and members of Brief Board of Directors. Sheikh Faisal witnessed the competitions from different owners and stables with a huge participation by fans and enthusiasts and a significant organization by Arabian Horse Beauty Committee. Sheikh Faisal praised the success of the competition and the wide participation by the best horses and the participation which reflects people's interest in this traditional sport. He praised the role of the organizing committee in making the contest look more like a national day celebration where the at attendees all wore scars and held the kingdom's flag. He also hailed the media coverage of the event and praised the efforts of the Ministry of Information Affairs in covering the event. He hailed the efforts of Minister Ali Rumehi and expressed thanks to all other media and social media figures. Sheikh Faisal then wished everyone success in the second day of the competition. Under the patronage of the capital governor, Sheikh Hisham bin Abdurrahman Al Khalifa, with a strategic partnership of Tamkeen Bahrain and in association with the UNDP Bahrain and Sustainable Development Goals, the sixth edition of the Social Media Masters Forum was held today. More on this report with Shogun Hamad. The Social Media Masters Forum is a practical and interactive forum built for the youth looking to become social media professionals by learning social media fundamentals, techniques, and best practices. The forum combines international experts from Jordan, Lebanon, Saudi Arabia, the United States, the UAE, Oman, and Bahrain to share their social media professional expertise with over 200 participants. This year we are talking about the, uh, the people themselves, how to start a career in social media and why digital marketing is important today for Bahrainis especially. We know that we have a lot of entrepreneurs, we have very well education. This year is uh, talking about how to start a business on social media, how to find a job in social media. This, uh, this year we have 24 uh, speakers from Lebanon, Jordan, uh, Oman, Saudi Arabia. They all will uh, convey the message about how to start a business on social media, how to use the social media in the right way, especially your students and job seekers. Advocates of entrepreneurship and social media in Bahrain and the region attended the forum, which comes up with recommendations to enhance the leading position of Bahrain on the global map of the social media industry, creating new jobs in the field of social media, and allowing huge growth opportunities for individuals and companies with minimum investments, in addition to developing new products or services and creating new markets for Bahraini entrepreneurs. Reporting for Bahrain International, I'm Shogun Mohammed.